We have a different look this year just because, um, you know, for the past four years, it's been Wendell Davis, Boo Osborne, Adrian Cook, and some other guys, Marcellus Hamilton. Uh, now we have a different look, you know, and, and uh, we have some very talented players, but we have to get them to gel together. So this whole preseason has been team building. Uh, both on and off the floor and getting guys to uh, have some great chemistry so uh, and also staying healthy making sure that guys um, are working hard but not overdoing it and and just getting our culture integrated into the new guys that are on the team I think you know the two big leaders uh, on the floor for us have been Ben and Drew you know Ben Haraway is is very well acclimated to our league as well as Drew Noble and and they've been a part of some some great teams here and and they've been in those battles uh, against you know the best in the league and they understand the GLIAC schedule they understand how difficult it is on every night so you know their leadership is is going to be instrumental for us to have a great season this year um, you know not only are they talented as individuals but they're 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 better leaders this year. Um, and they've had to step into that role simply because of who's departed our program over the past couple of years. We, you know, we have um, you know two transfers, uh, Roger Caldwell and Derek Koch, and both those guys are extremely talented. Um, you know, Derek's uh, all-time leading rebounder in the state of Ohio high school history. That, that's a great resume thing to have on your roster. Um, but you know, he's again, he's got to get acclimated to what we do, and, and we got to figure out what he does really well and fit it into our system. And Roger Caldwell, you know, was a Division One state MVP of the state championship off of Huber Heights Wayne and played at BG. Both of them started at BG, so it's it's good to have some Division One transfers that that were starters at a quality program like Bowling Green. And and um, you know, Roderick's very talented. You know, it's it's you don't get guys like those every single day. So one, they have to buy into who we are as a culture, and, and two, they have to um, you know figure out how they fit into the team. And you know we work together with them on that. You know we it, this isn't a dictatorship where I'm telling them exactly what to do and all that. I, I got to get to know these guys. They got to get to know us, and uh, we got a short amount of time to get there. So it, it's it's important for us to to figure them out and for them to to figure out how they fit in with us. I'm always looking for a better way to play, and I think you know that's something that if you get stuck in a certain way, people will figure you out and. Um, it, you're always trying to find the best way, and it, I think you, you know with with the departure of who we had, we we understood last spring when um, you know especially when Wendell and Marsalis uh, were done that you know we're a different type of team. Those guys were great mismatches, and now we have to find new mismatches. We have to find new guys that are are, are going to be a threat and. Um, you know, right now I, I think we have a lot of lot of talented players, like you said. Uh, you, you know, the two transfers, the two guys that are returning that are all league. Ryan Bate is going to step into a great role for us. I think Aaron Thompson has, has had a tremendous off season, and uh, will be a we will be a, a very big impact player for us. And then you know, like a Phil Frenzos and and some other guys that are are coming off the bench are are just adding to depth. You know, one thing we didn't have last year was a lot of depth, and I think this year that'll be a little bit different. Every year the, the league seems like it gets tougher and tougher. Um, you know, with Fair State winning the national championship, it, it just it, it, it puts our league at a different level. Um, those guys did a great job last year in making everybody better, and it seems like this off season was – basically kind of an arms race in recruiting for everybody in the league to kind of once you have a team in the league that wins it you, well there's the blueprint there's something you know the level of, of uh, competitiveness that you have to play at and I think you know everybody is is kind of stepped it up and said well we've got to keep pace with that so it just took our league to a different level after they won it.